After a rough first season succeeding Don Plitzowide, it appears as though Kayla Karius has the Kyle women's basketball team poised once again to ascend atop the Summit League. USD defeated Bradley 68-47 on Wednesday, winning their seventh straight to wrap up the majority of their non-conference play at 10-4. and four. They still have a couple games for the Big Sky Challenge ahead. Now that's just four wins shy of matching their win total from all of last year. Though some games were against NAIA opponents, they have padded their stats a little bit. The Oats are averaging seven points more per game on offense while allowing about 10 points less. With Grace Larkins a front runner for player of the year, it's a more experienced Coyote team that likes where they're at entering Summit League play. We have a lot of season left in front of us, and we do start conference play, then mix in two more non-conference games the first week of January and get right back at it uh, with the Summit League play. But it's important that they get away and get, get recharged and uh, be proud of what they've accomplished and then come back here really hungry and really excited. Now here's a look at where they are at right now in the unofficial standings and non-conference based on winning percentage. Right now, USD is the clear favorite heading into conference play. SDSU in third, though. Certainly not a lot of separation between anyone else. The Coyotes host NDSU a week from tonight in their league opener. SDSU will be at UND on New Year's Eve a week from Sunday. On the men's side, it's even more chaotic. Three teams are 8-5. and five. USD and SDSU both losing their non-conference finales last night. Mirror scheduling, so the Coyotes open league play next Friday at NDSU while the Jackrabbits host the Fighting Hawks a week from Sunday at Frost Arena. 